In this episode, we're going to go look at a $50 million retail center right on the beach, baby. Can Vincent handle this project? Can we get it for a good deal? And will Jimmy leave me the hell alone today? That's the question. We're looking at properties in Fort Lauderdale, but we're going to stop and get some Jewish deli, baby. They're open. Let Jimmy out. Split pea soup, I'm in. This is owned by a Jew, a New York Brooklyn Jew. The lady in the deli is cuckoo. Are you getting soup and half sandwich, or are you gonna get a whole sandwich I want and a whole soup sandwich on the side? And soup on the side. So get a Philly cheesesteak. You okay, get French fries I'm too. On it. She screws up my order every time I come near, and this time she better get it right. All right, honey, I'll figure it out. Thank you. I'm do I that appreciate you. it. Thank you so much. Okay. She'll figure it out. All right. Talk to me. Nova. Oh, Nova sandwich. No, not, not a Nova thing. sandwich. What? Don't screw it up this time, please. All right, no offense. Nova, like a pancake. Big giant pancake, pancake. everything stuck together. Oh, I remember you. You don't remember me because you screw sure it up every time I come. Listen, lady, I'm not in the mood today. You screw up my breakfast. You know what? Come over here. <laughs> oh, now he's starting. I want it all mixed together in a pancake, like, you know? I got you. You guys are professional here. Did you get enough potato pancakes? Yeah, but she's working here pancakes. today. Ooh. No, you pancakes? didn't. She needs to go back kidding. to Jewish training, deli training. All right, I'm, you're done with me. Ma'am, would you consider him whining? That's a $5 extra charge. It's $10. They $10 went up. $10 for you. There you go. Look at the sun. Have fun with him. You think I'm difficult? Wait till you deal with him. You know how your seniors are. Oh, shit. Oh, oh my God. Alright, 140.74. How much? 140.74. Jesus. We gotta go somewhere else. <laughs> Thank you. Subway, guys! That's how we say Subway means it's a great tip. Before we leave, I want everybody to take one item off the shelf. I need it for the boat. Get the hot sauce for my wife. Oh my goodness. Look at that baby hair. Yeah. That's a New York sandwich. You know, I was missing condiments one day. That's how he got born. Now, would you want to tell me, is this lovely or what? Now that looks like you got it right. Took what you six that? times me coming here, but you finally got it right. Very good. This time you didn't cook it, that's why. Wow. Yes! Wow. I got it right. This is so good. How about this? I give you one so in case you drip it. I used to put a bib on you every time you ate when you were a baby. That shirt looks a little small for you. It's my night shirt. That's your night I'm shirt. Saying, I was going to say it's a nighttime shirt. Huh? Isn't that cute what it I call that a nightmare. <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey, I didn't you mean too. That. Make sure he, I make sure he keeps the shirt scary. on. She'll make, the, she'll make you keep the shirt on. <laughs> You're going to get your double egg sandwich, double meat. I'm getting, I'm getting the stuff from Strawby again. Thank you. I'm not okay. messing with you no more if you know him. Yo, look at this. Yeah, cover for him. I've been fed leftovers my whole life. Hey, better leftovers than left out. Okay, that's a tip, lady. Else. Yeah. No. no. Yeah. for me. Don't go in there? No. You don't share? I do. But we want to dance. The $10. That was the old days. You don't do that no more. Oh, all right. Oh, you're silly. A chair dance. Thank you. <laughs> Holy shit, the guy got no man. Come on, buddy. Hey, can you wash boats? We got a boat to wash. You want to go wash it? Oh, it's time to get out. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a Long Island. Long, Long Island. I'm a Long. Greek god. The women call me testicles. What time you got to be back at the hospital? They let me out till 3.20, my plane leaves. That's good. If you're in Fort Lauderdale, you better come to Pomperdale, baby, because you're going to get the real deal. Look, here's your girl. Come on, baby. You want good pastrami and corned beef? You need to come to Pomperdale. Get that big New Yorker. Right? She's had several big New Yorkers. Ah. I ain't going to be one of them. <laughs> See you later, guys. Bye-bye. Thanks a lot. You know the owner. Are you going to buy this whole thing? Oh, look. Looking at it! They got booze in that Taco Bell. Most people are at the fucking beach today. Where am I? Walking the goddamn beach looking for the next goddamn deal with Jimmy Hart. 
That's what I'm doing on Labor Day. I'm laboring. I feel like I'm gonna go into labor. Let me buy a t-shirt from the Drunken Taco. Everywhere we go, he's gotta buy a fucking t-shirt. We're looking at a $50 million plus deal right now, and you get to come along. Look what I got. Question is, can Vincent handle it? Which property are you looking at? Don't know Jimmy don't even know a property. You don't even Jimmy, know the city we're in right Jimmy, now. Jimmy, this whole block is what we're looking at. This is the most prime, pristine block okay. in Fort Lauderdale Beat. It's almost past his nap time. Come on. No reason. We're here to look at a building to buy. I know, this is serious business, okay. Jimmy. He just... want $50 million. $50 million. But I'm asking you. Why are they going to sell it if it's that valuable? Because they're not. It's, there's problems in every property. For someone Who wants to knows? Sell. Maybe he died. Maybe he's retiring. Who the fuck cares? All we know is it worth 50 million bucks or not. That's what we're here to find out, Jimmy. Don't piss me off today. This is the front entrance to your property. There's some vacancies here. There's a lot of stuff that I can already tell by stepping right here. I already see a bunch of stuff that I could have done in a week or two that would just boost the, mor the morale or just everything. Can I ask you one thing? Yeah. Hadn't you got to check on how long the leases are for before you buy yeah, something Yeah, that's the too? first thing. Yes, definitely. You know, that's, that's him and little Ben's most thing. I'm more of a street person. I'm in the streets. I touch stuff. I've got my hands on it, but yes. Make sure you wash your hands. There's your rent roll, baby. Kiosk comes with a Polish word. I can't afford to rent the space, so I'll go out in the hallway. I mean, you know, I would hope these guys are making money, but they, they're so hidden back here. We gotta figure out a way to get the people out there to come in here. Vibe. That looks like a piece of shell from Alcatraz. And I'd have fans, misters, you know? In an elevator, you put a mister? In the property. You're sweating and you ain't even taking five I'm steps mister. yet. I'm This was a test location for Taco Bell called Taco Bell Cantina. They have alcoholic beverages here. Look at the railings. Wait, we want to go upstairs again. We should go we upstairs. We will, but let's go back to the elevator. We walked this side, uh, now we're going to the next level. I'm not going up no fucking stairs. Fucking sign reminded him that he hasn't had a cigarette. Goddamn sign. Get out of my designated area, you're not smoking. If you ain't smoking, get out of my area. Hey, you can smoke, but you better not cross this line. Don't, don't do it. Alarm. More empty. Everywhere will be designated smoking. Look at this poor guy, he's not even open. Closed until further notice. Damn. Sad. The only thing I could think of. Good work. Good work, why? They wouldn't let you because the hotel next door, it'd be way too much for a build out. Condos. Wouldn't work. Condos. Big three bedroom, three bath. They don't have that. That will get the overflow. You got no real windows. You never get a permit. It's not going to happen. It's not like John's Pass. That was a different situation. Yeah. There's already a hotel attached to a building, so it's it's zoned for that. You call the city. You ask them. That's what I'm saying. But like three bedrooms. If you got a hotel here with uh, 400 one bedroom studios. You need to make these three bedrooms or, you know, and able to split them between, you can make it a one bedroom or a three bedroom. I mean, we have to sit down something and missing work it here out. To drive people in here. A stage. Something that's not gonna create a fucking security nightmare. Hogan's Beach. I got an idea. We go San Francisco on them, put a fucking merry-go-round right here. For the kids? You won't see it in the street, that's the problem. You need to attract families here. You got enough bars, you got enough place to drink. We need families here in the daytime. And if we put a merry go round here, I don't know, nobody can see it. I don't know, it takes time to think these things out, but this place has no vibe. This escalator is not in good shape. The salt there, in, in an elevator, it's somewhat protected. When you got an escalator, it's totally exposed to the environment. It's a maintenance nightmare. And if that one needs to be new, the working ones probably need to be replaced as well. They're just almost there. I never had an escalator before. I had to find out what escalators cost now. And look at this, not good. Needs money put pumped into this place. You could have a $100,000 repair bill if this elevator may need it. Yeah, and every day it's down, you're pissing customers off, you're losing business. 
Another lease. Not good, not good. That's a beautiful spot too. Look how nice this corner spot is. Right next to Subway. What's crazy is the Escalade is working going down when it should be working, the working one should be going up. We can reverse them. Wait. He's gonna trip and fall. <laughs> Don't do Ooh, it. Ooh, taste it, taste it, taste it, Vincent, taste it. That's, the, oh, I'm gonna say something bad. Hey, this place is so old, that used to be the white, and that used to be the black. All right, you see, the one thing this place would create a vibe, which is not an easy task, is brand names. You see Hooters? It's a brand name. It's got business. It's on the third floor. People will schlep up here because they want the brand. You need to fill this place up with brands that will attract people. That's what this place needs. Can you find brands to get them in here? You gotta make them super deals. You probably gotta throw in the towel and give them rent free for who knows how long to give them time to build up a business. But once they build it up, then you got them. You gotta reel them in. Hooters is a great brand to bring into a center. Now we gotta find other brands that have the same following as a Hooters. That's gonna make them come up the elevator and come up the escalator. You attract better class people, you have less security problems too. It's true. Yeah, how many fucking security guards are on the payroll right now? You know what the fucking security costs are here? I see three guys they're billing them for and they're probably billing 30 bucks an hour. You're looking at 100 bucks an hour. They're asking 50, I can only give them 25. But that ain't gonna happen. The one thing I will say is the structure is still good. They built the hell out of this place. Who peed here? Maybe I'll come down to price, but not the price they were asking. Too risky. Biggest thing is security expenses. I went through the budget already. Spending a fortune on security. They got tons of empty space, and they got high maintenance items that need to be addressed. Escalators, elevators, and the place needs a vibe. Sounds like something here would do. I know. Are you gonna talk yourself but out of risky. it? It's risky. It's risky. You know, retail, time, you, gotta have a, you gotta have a service and necessity retail here. By the time you sell the hotel, I'll have this place ready to sell. But you gotta get to run it. Vinny Babini. All right. I'm telling you, at night this place is alive more. We'll be back tonight. You will, I'm going home. I'll do, I mean, get the price right. Your management fee is zero. I don't think they'll take a half a million dollars. Jimmy will be here every 50 weekend. 50 million. 50 million, damn. <laughs> Parking garage. This ain't fucking Memphis. Hey, how you doing? How are you? Pretty good, nice to see ya. Thank you. Look at Jimmy. It's the South, hey, what's going on, man? Where y'all from? What will keep you coming here every day? Besides people. Uh, I don't know. Starbucks? Not, not, a, not a barber, I'll tell you that. Uh, you gotta get off first. I'm getting off. Yeah, you about to get on one, right? Yes, ma'am. And I'm going to deck below. This man's a professional hustler. Who are you kidding on? He's a I seen you everywhere. He's a businessman. Uh -huh. Wait, wait, wait. Are you? I think I know you. Oh yeah, I think I know you too. Is it You're from Brooklyn. I know he was. I was like, I've been watching his. Oh, I've been watching your uh, YouTube. I'm quitting if you're watching. Dude, I'm serious about that ass. Tell us what's going on here for real. So, Tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the. How tall are you? Seven feet, man. Six nine. Where are you from? Originally from Rwanda. Rwanda, you look like Messiah. <laughs> okay. So what's the story? Come so, on, let's yeah. get real here now. We actually here uh, with Feed the Children. We actually a nonprofit. We help little kids fight poverty and hunger all over the world. I'm you guys look like you need food and water. <laughs> you doing what? Everything they find. I'm not giving no credit number from hey. somebody from Rwanda, man. Hey. You look hey. like you're from Nigeria. Hey. You'll turn into Ben Mal if I give you my social, hey. my credit card I number. Think, I won't take none of that. He'll be walking hey, around, I'm Ben Mala. You go to school where? FIU. Oh yeah, my middle son went to FU. Yeah? What's your name? Steve Furby, man, from Charlotte, North Carolina, man. Charlotte, North Carolina! Yeah, I didn't have nothing, man, but now... Now you think that, about getting I, some shit. I got that net worth over a million. There you I go. gotta start somewhere, there right? There you go, you can do it. <laughs> That's right, my man. All right, take okay. care, thank you. And it comes with a parking garage. I think it has like a thousand spots because it gives um, 500 to the uh, hotel, and then the other 500 is for our guests. And it's hot as fuck. Where is Vincent and Jimmy? Where the fuck are they? Come on, Vincent! Oh my God, it's gonna be a big fight. You shouldn't tell people. I didn't tell nobody. They asked me, where are you coming out of? I said, the big band. What do you want me to do, lie to fucking people? How much sugar is in this? 
They're fighting. They get ready for the fight. They're gonna be screaming and yelling. Let's hope Vincent get out of here without hitting nobody. They're all blocking you in. Look at the line of people. We should knock that place down and make it a parking lot. Subscribe, watch another video, or hit the like button. Adios, amigos.